Even though you can upload your own content to actively learn, one of the best things about it is its huge repository of existing lessons and activities. In this video, we'll show you how to customize those as needed. After you've signed in with your Google account at activelylearn.com, there are a variety of tools that can help you locate those existing lessons. I can search by curricular unit, genre, or theme. My filters here are customized to English language arts since that is what I selected when I first started using Actively Learn. But if you teach another subject, you can go to your profile and change your teaching and primary content area. If you have a specific text in mind that you want to use, you can also just search for it by its title. And clicking on the title will bring up the text and you can see all of the instructions, directions, questions, and extra help that Actively Learn has already added for you. If you like this lesson just like it is, you can simply click assign and choose the classes you want to assign it to. But if you want to add or remove questions or maybe even just use an excerpt of the text, click the customize button. You can edit or delete an existing item by selecting it or using the three dots in the top right. To insert a new question, highlight the text you want the question to appear after and choose insert question. Choose short answer, multiple choice, or poll. And if you want to, you can add align standards. In addition to questions, you can add links or other resources or add notes and decide if those notes are seen by all students or just those you have designated as being eligible for extra help. And finally, if you want to remove or hide sections of the text, simply highlight your selection and choose Whiteout. In Teacher View, you'll see this icon, which indicates that part of the text has been hidden, and this allows you to undo or restore the whited out area if needed. After you've made your customizations, all you need to do is assign this customized version to your classes. You can post this link in your online classroom, but students will also see the assignment appear on their assignments tab. Just like with all assignments, the reading is chunked for students and they must answer the questions before they can move on to the next section of reading. And as with all actively learned assignments, you will receive real-time data on students' progress and answers to the questions as they work through the activity.